The Brave Trumpeter. Once there was a boy who played the trumpet, but he did not play it very well. What an awful noise! Please stop blowing that trumpet. But I want to blow this trumpet. Then go practice in the barn. So Anthony went into the barn, but the animals did not like his music either. <laughs> What an awful noise! Go away! <laughs> the chickens cannot lay eggs while you play. Go away, please. Oh, it is too loud in here to practice. So Anthony went into a field, but the cows did not like his music either. Moo! What an awful noise! I cannot sleep. Go away! Moo! Moo! I cannot give milk to my calf while you play. Moo, moo! Oh, it is too loud out here to practice. So Anthony went into the village. Anthony found a quiet place beneath the mill. No one will bother me now. So Anthony practiced his trumpet under the mill every day. One day, the mayor of the village heard Anthony practicing his trumpet. Oh, what is that awful loud noise? I wish it would stop. Oh, wait a minute. We have no way to call people together in our village. Maybe the trumpet noise could call the people of the village together. So the mayor found Anthony under the mill. Hello, I am the mayor of the village. You play that trumpet very loudly. As you know, we have no other way to call everyone for important meetings or emergencies. Can you blow the trumpet when we need everyone to come quickly? Oh, of course. One night, the enemy invaded the village. The enemy is coming to attack us! Oh no! We must warn the village immediately. Find Anthony and bring him to me. So Anthony hurried to see the mayor. Hurry, Anthony! You must warn all the other villages too. Oh yes, mayor. Anthony ran out to the road and blew his trumpet loudly in every direction. All the animals and villagers were surprised to hear the loud, awful sound. The enemy is coming! Come and fight them! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Anthony ran through all the nearby villages. He blew his trumpet loudly as he can, but at this time, no one complained about his loud, awful noise. Soon, all the villagers met together and went to fight the enemy. After a while, the villagers returned. We defeated the enemy. Yes, we won the fight because of Anthony's warning. Oh, I am glad the eggs are safe now. Moo! I am glad we are safe too. Me too. And Anthony can practice in the barn any time he wants. So from then on, no one complained to Anthony when he practiced the trumpet. That is, there was no one but the newborn chicks. Cheep! What an awful noise! Cheep, cheep! Cheep! Yes, Anthony, please be quiet. <laughs> <laughs>